Good morning. It's a nice chill morning. By chill, I mean chilly. It's also almost eight o'clock. The place up here opens for breakfast and coffee at eight o'clock. Uh, it's three minutes till. I got up earlier. I think I got up around seven. Walked up and used the bathroom. Came back and packed all my stuff up. Um, Hollywood and CC's tents don't look like they're moving yet. We had decided no rush this morning. Let's just see when we get up and get ready. Um, but the guy who shuttled us here yesterday had told us he'll be dri driving people up here and dropping them off. And he could take us back to the trailhead because we're like two miles from the trail um, where we're camped at. Um, he said he'd be here between 8.30 and 9. But since they're not even up yet, I don't think that's happening. But it is just along this two miles on a gravel road. There's a lot of campers here. I mean, there's always a chance we can get a ride later. Um, we get good Wi-Fi here, so I'm actually looking forward to getting up here, plugging my phone in, and just chilling. I do have a couple more videos I can upload to get totally caught up on that, which would be nice. Um, so I'm going to get up here and get some coffee and uh, start doing some YouTube work. And I will show you up here, when I was up here this morning anyway, an hour ago, there's still smoke in the air, but it's way clearer. And it's a beautiful big lake here, so I'll try to get a get you a view of that as well. Yeah, the sun's getting brighter, it is looking a little hazier again, but it's still beautiful. It is a little after 10, diesel, lentil, fireball, a whole bunch of people showed up on that shuttle this morning from Crater Lake. We've all had breakfast and we're just kind of sitting around talking and eventually we're gonna to have to start hiking. But um, so far, nobody's making a move to go. This water is just crystal clear. There's so many boats out here. Check out what Hollywood's doing. He's starting his, his marketing campaign. You can fix my bangs. That might make them worse. I mean, on the one hand, you're, you're marketing yourself. But she makes very... It is 2 o'clock p.m. We haven't left yet, but we have gone swimming, and we've been sitting here resting. Um, we've got to do like 9 or 10 miles today. So we're gonna do that eventually, but I just ordered some food. So we we're gonna leave a couple hours. Well, actually, we we're gonna leave a lot of times, but we just didn't because then we once we were like, okay, it's time to go. Then it was like, well, we can't leave in the heat of the day. So here we are. We are back at the trailhead. It is 3.25 p.m. We wasted a lot of today, but we have nine miles to go. So hopefully we get there before dark because it's mostly all uphill. Um, the only thing to do is start walking, so I guess we better get to it. I've been hiking about 30 minutes, and so far, it has been all just beautiful, mature, open woods. Like almost no undergrowth, no fire. No burn, just live, beautiful pines. All right, so it's getting pretty smoky. You can see in that sunlight a little bit. And the woods right here in front of me, it's not bad, but you can see just beyond where I'm at, you can just see the white smoke everywhere. Like it doesn't feel like the air quality is horrible where like on the ground here, it's pretty clear, but it is very hazy. It's actually very sunny. Like you could see there are sunspots in several places. But for the most part, the sky is just white with haze. Um, it's been gradually getting worse all afternoon, just like yesterday. It was definitely bad in the afternoon, got worse through the evening, and cleared up overnight. So the last report we saw was it was supposed to continue improving over, overnight tonight. So hopefully that remains 
accurate. I can definitely smell smoke. It's not real strong, but it's definitely in the air. All right, came to this lake. Look at the smoke. It is hazy. I've been climbing, so it's always a little harder to breathe, but man, this smoke is making it tougher. It's not horrible, like it's not dangerous, I don't think, but it's definitely a, a bit of a nuisance. You can see how hazy and smoky it is. Just a little check-in. It is 6.15, I think. Um, we have done seven and a half, about two and a half from what we're gonna camp. Um, well, two and a half from like the junction of where we're gonna camp. And then it's like 0.3 off trail to a pond with some camping. And the pond is gonna be our water for tonight and the rest of tomorrow, or not the rest of tomorrow, for a bit tomorrow. It has been a lovely hike. I've just been listening to some podcasts and strolling. There was a series of lakes back there, the Rosary Lakes, I think. Um, I think Cece was going to stop and swim in the third lake. Fireball was with us at um, the place we were at, um, Shelter Cove. And um, she walked out right before we did. And she was swimming at the first lake. Um, but she has she was done swimming when we were there we talked to her for a bit she just passed me not long ago um so hollywood and cc are both behind me right now and right now i'm at a trail junction here the trail went like four different ways i want to make sure i was going the right way but anyway so i'll meet hollywood and cc up here at bobby lake um let's see so i should be there by i don't know 7:45 or so maybe a little before that and uh, that'll give us a good hour before dark to get set up and eat dinner and whatnot. Although I'm not really that hungry for a change. I did have like a Southwest Cobb salad there at uh, Shelter Cove before we left. And um, yeah, I'm sure I'll be ready to eat in a little bit. But I do need to find a good spot to stop because I have some like blueberry lemonade Sour Patch Kids. And they're in my back pocket of my pack instead of where they should be in my fanny pack. So I gotta take my pack off to get them. I do have some snacks in my fanny pack, but I don't want them, I want the candy. So I'm gonna stop here for a minute at some point. We've been on this like fairly steep side hill. It's down the hill on that side of the trail, up on this side. So all the logs and places to sit have been kind of slanted. So if I'm gonna stop and take a break for a couple minutes, I want a decent place to sit at least. Um, when we climbed up earlier, the smoke was getting worse. So I was hoping as we were going down to where we were camping, it's going to get better. But it's not looking better. I don't know, in this camera, um, you can kind of see it's just, I think it just looks on the camera just like white or gray, but you can barely even see the next hillside. It's so smoky. It's just kind of like living in some campfire smoke. Hopefully, as we go further north, we can get it out of this a little bit, but I don't know how long that'll last because there's a lot more fires further up north. Right now, we're trying not to think about it too much. There's a lot of trail clothes in Washington. And we'll talk about this later. But basically, the PCTA is saying don't even hike across the Bridge of the Gods because while the trail is open there, the last town where there's any services or anything is Cascade Locks, Oregon. Um, Trout Lake... And all the roads are apparently closed and the area has been evacuated. So if we hike up there, you're going to have to try and hike all the way back. Because there's no, nobody to pick you up, no roads, and nowhere to resupply. So we're going to worry about that after trail days. And just hope the situation improves in the next 10 days or so. But I don't know. For now, I don't know. The way it looks, we could only have four or 500 miles left, which... I mean, at the rate we're going, that's less than four weeks. Um, we have, we're going to take our time the next couple days and have fun and bend and have, go to trail days and all that. And hopefully the situation improves so we can hike some more miles. But I don't know. It is going to be just whatever it is. But um, 
yeah, I don't know. We've, we've talked about this a little bit this morning and last night, and it's just kind of like, well, let's just wait and see and not get ahead of ourselves. But I was wanting this to be done so much. And now when it's like all of a sudden, wait, it could be done way quicker than you thought. It's almost like, ooh, I'm not ready to be done. So I don't know. I'm really torn. I want to see my dog, though. But either way, we got at least four to six weeks to go. So there's that. But I'm going to get back to this podcast I was listening to and get on up here to camp. It is 10 after 7. I am off the PCT on the side trail headed to Bobby Lake where we're going to camp. Um, got here a little earlier than I anticipated, which is welcome. Not really sure how many people, if any, will be down here. Um, I have been getting some mosquito bites sporadically. They're not like swarming or anything, but I have been getting some bites here and there. So I'm wondering if going by the water is not going to be good. Um, we got to have water to drink anyway, so we got to go down there. So not really many people left. I don't think anybody left anything to wear around where we did. People either left like way earlier than we did. So they probably are going further or maybe people are leaving after us, but I didn't see anybody there that was like, that wasn't staying um, when we left. So there's a chance more people will come later, um, but who knows? There could be, it could just be a couple of us down here, or it could be 45 people down here. I'm almost to the lake, and there are people screaming. So I don't know if this is, I'm assuming, probably locals camping with kids, because there's kids screaming. Ugh. It's a beautiful lake, but there are a ton of people down here. All right, it is nine o'clock and I just forgot that I hadn't done any video in. So we had dinner, get everything set up. Diesel and lentil are here. Eventually I'm gonna get the French stallion to do a, a hiker interview. There's fish jumping. Didn't really get a sunset, but look at this. All right, good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.